gotta be a fucking spray. Shit. Run out toward the tower. Hey everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. My trick, you ass. Well, at least they dealt with that clicker. Holes. Is just gonna hide over there? Tail! 
Bugger off! Shoot, Ellie! Sake. The delay in aiming and shooting is really bad. All right, you want us to drop anything? Make some splody arrows. Oh, hello. Okay. Anything else around here? Come on, give me all the goodies. coming through that way. It wants me to go, so let's have a look down here. Probably already dead. Right, you guys can go. Come on. go back this does feel very end game you're right there ready
There we go. We've, we've caused a revolution. But the Seraphites and the Fire... Uh, not Fireflies. Wolves all over again. Oh, blimey, that was quick. Go around to the kid. Abby? You've lost a lot of weight, Abby. Oh, there he is. I mean, I know what happens because the game's been out for a while and spoilers. Uh, I think, like I said, when I restart this playthrough, I need to finish it for myself before I can really give a fair judgment on the game. But so far, my views are pretty much the same as most of these game's detractors. The story is not good. It's very badly structured, but we'll get in. We'll get into that more when this is all over. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this.
I'm not gonna fight you. Yes, you will. Really? We're doing this, Ellie? He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. I really don't like what they've done to Ellie's character in this. Oh, it's another one of these. I get it. Right, two strikes. Dodge two strikes. Dodge strike. Oh, cutscene. Dodge, dodge, strike, dodge, dodge, all right, dodge, 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 dodge. dodge. Oh, getting weak. Jesus. One interesting thing I've learned is that Ellie biting people doesn't actually cause them infection. 
because we bit Abby a while ago. And she hasn't turned. Oh, we lost the fingers then. It looked like they were still there, unless she amputated them on her way back. Very quiet. No sheep. Oh, Dean is gone. Let's have a little wander around. Yep, she took everything. At least all this is still here. Can't get the right notes. Drinking coffee. Where'd you get that? Uh, most people. 
people that came through last week. Hmm. I'm a little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but I'm back. I had Seth under control. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Um, Dina. Is she your girlfriend? No. <laughs> no, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. Uh, was that the last conversation they had before he died?
wonder if she's heading back to Jackson. Oh, there we go. The Last of Us Part 2. Well, I'm glad I went back and finished it. Uh, we'll get the positive stuff out of the way first because while there's not a lot of positives I can really say, the positives are really good. Like, um, the gameplay is fantastic. Like, great gameplay. It, it brought in some great mechanics like the proning and whatnot. Good stuff. Beautiful looking game. Even like PS4 still looks beautiful compared to Last of Us Part 1 Remake. But the story is really bad. I mean, I'm okay with Joel dying. I just think they went about it the wrong way. Like, there seemed to be a whole really long ass wind of trying to explain that the circle of revenge will only lead to misery. In my mind, there, are, there were better ways of telling that story. Like, you could have had Joel dying saving the woman who's trying to kill him and Ellie as well obviously and then you know having Abby witness how Joel's death would affect Ellie in that regard you could have told the same story that way around I think the structure is the biggest problem I have for the story overall the constant jumping between timelines is I'm not saying annoying because that kind of thing can work really well narratively speaking but my biggest gripe is that the moment we see Abby kill Joel she becomes the antagonist of the story that's just how it's presented and then when you get to the point where you're playing as Abby it tries to show you oh no she's just this normal girl she's got friends and whatnot. it feels very manipulative and then after showing you like the good side that Abby does, the, the side of her that's still human, the fact that she cares about people and whatnot, it automatically reminds you why you're trying to kill her in the first place. It's like, oh, here's all this nice stuff Abby does. Here's all her friends. Oh yeah, by the way, flashback, she killed Joel. Remember that? It's like, so yeah, it it the structure's not great. I don't. Uh, I, I'm not gonna say sit here and say it's a bad game. It's not. I enjoyed playing it after coming back from part one so I'm glad I finished it I might try and get the platinum for this I'm not sure yet but another gripe I have is that the most interesting elements this story introduced like the cult the seraphites and the rattlers they ultimately meant nothing I think that's such a huge wasted opportunity like the whole cult thing that could have been used as a great mechanic for Ellie and Abby to draw a line in their sand and maybe even team up to defeat the cult or even the Rattlers. I mean, yeah, it, it does. There's probably some story to explore there with part three, because I think part three is definitely inevitable at some point. But yeah, not a great game. I think I think... <laughs> Yeah, I think a 6 out of 10 for me. It has a lot of flaws. But now coming back to it after part 1, I, have to, I can say that I actually did enjoy playing the game overall. Loved the new monsters they introduced, like the Rat King and those, I can't remember what they're called, the ones that sort of explode. They're not quite bloaters, they're sort of somewhere in between. Yeah, good stuff. Uh... Any secret, uh, any post credit scenes? No, but we do have a new, new game plus unlocked. Play through the game again before the upgrades. Yep, cool. What I had to do. Only 46% only of the trophies. Okay, so yeah, I might try and get the platinum for this. I'm currently working through the part one platinum at the minute. But yeah, those are my final thoughts. I don't hate it as much as a lot of the detractors do. It's got some strong, good elements towards it. It's just the story and how it's structured. 
are a huge drag factor. But anyway, that is the end. Thank you very much for taking the time for watch, to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Last of Us Part 2, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.